My name is Brad Rothenberg. Sean Sims. And uh, we're from the Epithelium Studio at the Pratt Institute. So we want to kind of show you what future architectural envelopes could be like. We're kind of speculating about creating new worlds, creating imaginary worlds with devices that actually interface with you and start to respond with you. So as we start to investigate potential worlds and now uh, building envelopes becoming responsive kinetic entities as opposed to static mirrors that we view ourselves in as we pass by the street, now buildings can shape and have character and become one and, and live in a symbiotic relationship with its users. Here we start to address that by working with uh, sensors uh, that, that sense movement of the individuals and the users. These microprocessors control four sets of devices, which can then speak to each other and set off chains of events throughout the whole mesh. So in essence, we're kind of creating this ecology of devices that can begin to talk to each other, interface with each other, interface with you as a human. So if you watch this, this right here is pneumatic muscle. What it does when it fills up with air, it contracts about 40%, and this mesh is resilient enough to kind of move and deform, and define space around that. So on, on this resilient mesh, we have populated a set of devices to stir the air, to kind of invoke imagination, to kind of create th th these environmental humanistic interfaces. It almost allows architecture to kind of act in this weak state where it doesn't have to be this kind of classical, heavy, solid notion of space. We can actually create these very fragile objects and define a surface just through the sense of follicles.